You are here with TriPedal Reviews. Today I'm going to go over the process of loading your own IRs into the Big Sky MX and also let you know some of the lessons I've learned along the way. First, you are going to want to download and install Nixie version 2. This is the software application that we'll be using to import the IRs. You can download this from Strymon's website. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Once the application is downloaded and installed, you will want to connect the Big Sky MX to your computer with a USB Type-C cable and power the pedal on, then launch the program. When you launch the program, your pedal should be detected. At the present time, Nixie 2's functionality is limited to creating and loading backups and working with IRs primarily. It is not yet a full-fledged editor, but that is in the works. Just to give you a basic tour of Nixie 2, on the right hand side you have the presets that are on your pedal. You can actually select them by double clicking. You can rename them by right clicking. You can also copy them to different locations. And if you've made changes on the pedal, you can click right to save them. Or if you want to read from the pedal, you can click read. Now I've already created a backup and to do that, I went down here and clicked Create Backup. I gave it a name. If you want, you can give it a description, and then you hit Create. The backups that you've taken are accessible on the left-hand side here under the Backups tab. It'll show what pedal you've created the backup on. If you expand the list, it'll show the backup that you've taken, and that's what I named mine. And then you can expand that backup. And if you want to listen to presets that are in that backup, you can actually double click them on the left hand side under your backup which is very handy. So now that you've taken a backup first a few insights and explaining some of the prep work that I've done here. Now there's all sorts of free sources for convolution reverbs on the internet. I'll leave a couple links to some of the ones that I use in the description of the video but the MX pedal itself has a limit of 10 characters for displaying. In the software here there is no limit. The name can be what it, however long it needs to be. But on the pedal itself, there's a 10 character limit for display. So what I've done is I've downloaded the free IRs, and then the ones that I want to upload to the pedal, I've gone through and sorted them. First, I've removed all of the mono IRs, and I've only included the stereo ones. And I've also renamed all of the ones that I'm going to put on the pedal to have meaningful names within that 10 character limit. That way, when I'm selecting IRs on the pedal, I have a vague idea of what they are. Another thing to note is that you can import folders with files in them, but you cannot import folders that have folders within them. So you can't just directly import a parent folder. You have to import just the folder that you want to import that has files underneath it. And you can do as many of those as you want, but you can't do nested folders for the import. If you try to do this, it's just going to import the files that are in the parent folder, and it won't import any files that are in any subdirectories. The Big Sky will accept any IR in WAV format, but it doesn't accept different file formats. I've tested uploading mono, stereo, and also quad channel IRs to the Big Sky MX, and I've had no issues with doing that. The MX doesn't say it specifically supports quad channel IRs, so I'm not sure what it's doing on the back end during the conversion on those. It may be cutting those down to two channels, but I have been able to successfully import those into the MX. Another thing that I've noticed, sometimes when importing IRs, it will crash the Nixie 2 software, and the software will just hang. If that happens to you, it may have stopped on an IR and not imported all of the IRs that you told it to. So you'll want to go back and double check that all of the IRs were imported after the fact. But if that happens to you, you're going to need to close the program, then power cycle your pedal and launch the program again, and then it should connect up and be just fine within the Nixie 2 software. So to start here, we're going to click IR Manager. On the left hand side here, this is all of our computer files. And on the right hand side are the files and folders on the Big Sky MX. When you first get the pedal, the only folder that's going to be on this right hand side here is the factory presets, which are right here. You can always expand the folders by clicking the left arrow next to the folder, and that applies to either side. 
you can browse your computer files with these arrows up here. This is going back and that's going forward. So you'll want to browse to where in your directory structure you have your IR folders. You'll note next to each folder there's a number to the right hand side here that indicates how many IR files are within that folder. So if you've ever done an import that has frozen and you want to know did it copy all of them, you can always look at that number and compare. One of the ones I tried earlier that froze was the M7 Ambience. And so after I relaunched the program, I checked the number here to see if it matched this side. And it did. So there's 15 on this side and then 15 on that side. So I know that all of them copied. But to copy over IRs, all you need to do is drag and drop whatever folder you want to copy over. So in this case, I'm going to try this M7 Halls one. And we'll see if it freezes, hopefully not, but you just drag the folder over and then let go. And it should start copying all of the files over. You can also select individual files on this side and you can do the exact same process of dragging it over to import them. But what you do need to remember is you can't stick the files in the parent directory, you have to stick it within some folder on the Big Sky MX side. That actually successfully completed just fine, which is nice. If you ever want to rename or delete something on your Big Sky or on the computer side, you can right-click the folder and then click Delete, or you can rename. If you try to do that with the factory presets, it's not going to let you, but any other folders that you've imported, it will let you do that. And that's pretty much all there is to importing IRs onto your Big Sky MX. Now we'll go ahead and switch over to the pedal and I'll show you how you access the IRs that you just imported into the MX. So to start with, we're just on a blank preset. We want to move the selector knob to the impulse category. And then we want to click the value button to pull up our menu. Then scroll to impulse and click into that. And you're probably going to be in the factory presets. You want to scroll all the way to the top to get to the folder. The very top selection is always the folder. And then you want to click that, which goes a level up in the directory structure. So now I have access to all of the folders that I've imported onto the MX. So we imported the M7 halls which is a folder indicated by the folder icon here. We can click into that. And now we have access to all the files that are in that folder. If you want to load a file, you just click onto it. So we'll just pick one here. want to go up again, we scroll to back to the top. You can also press and hold the value button to go back. So we'll go ahead and just go to a different folder here. We'll go to the plates and we'll pick one. And that's all there is to it.